Welcome back. In this video I'll take you through the solar install. So if you're going to install solar there's a few things you need to consider and the first one is what what's your actual goal. So is it self-sufficiency, is it caring for the environment or is it future proofing? Uh, it might be a combination of all of those. Once you've done that you need to review how much roof space you got and what sort of shading issues you've got and this workshop's quite large it's at 20 degrees and you can see I don't really have much of a shading issue at all. Now in South Australia one thing you do need to consider is the grid is limited to five kilowatts per phase and I have three phase so I can go to 15 kilowatts because five kilowatts per phase now that's the inverter there 15 kilowatts I'm actually putting 20 kilowatts of solar to give a bit of over capacity for the winter months. That's going to be the location of the inverter. Now if you're not sure whether you have single phase or three phase, have a look in your meter board. If your breakers look like this, it's single phase. And if you have one, even just one that's like this with three in a combination, then that's three phase. Now Keeping with the old school feel that I want inside, I've put some pallet boards behind this inverter as a starting point. The cabling's pretty simple, it just goes up through the roof space and onto the solar arrays. Now I've got 15 kilowatts on one side of the roof which is nearly facing north and on the other side I've got the remaining 5 kilowatts. This is the framework that goes up, it's extruded aluminium and it's bolted down to the purlins and under each of those feet there's a little rubber mat and these look like quite good quality and I've chosen to go all black, all black panels and all black frames as I just think it's a bit neater. There's no real benefit other than looks for all black. I've gone with solar wholesalers. This team has been great. My advice would be do your research, use reputable brands and reputable installers and yeah check on google there's plenty of reviews and you can see here these are all black trina panels and that's the 15 kilowatts at 20 degrees and on the opposite side is the remaining five kilowatts it's a good idea to oversize your solar panels as i said because in winter months you don't get the same capacity as summer obviously and by having more solar panels than your inverter size you can maximize the energy you produce here's a good look at the at the panels you can see the install was awesome from the guys very neat and follows on the same theme as this whole workshop so you can see that little conduit joiner across the ridge unfortunately i had to do that's not a big deal but it just means that by doing that and having it uh, exposed i didn't need to have isolators on the roof as well and you can hardly see it so there it is. If there's any questions, put them in the comment section. I'm not an expert on solar, but I do know a reasonable amount. And perhaps if I can't answer it, maybe somebody else can hop in and do the same. Now, one thing I also bought was a smart meter, and I'd highly recommend this. It gives you ability to really monitor your electricity consumption. So you can see here, this is on a quite dull day producing four kilowatts from the solar at the moment. The house isn't using too much and a lot of it's going to the grid. There's plenty of graphs. So this even has a forecast of what should be remaining for the rest of the day, how much you're consuming and at what time. And this really gives you the ability to think about your usage and how do you move load from the night time into the peak. And um, without this, I think it would be very hard to make a decision on something like batteries, for example. So you can see there I'm using not very much power, but I do have uh, a fair degree of three phase equipment in my workshop and it will be mostly day work. So this should work out quite well. And there's just another look at the array. Very happy with that. In the next video, I'll work towards finishing the walls of this workshop and it will be nearly completed. See you next time.